and welcome to Political Quickie, your political show that subjectively discusses current affairs in South Africa and all around the world. My name is Map Asikamura. So, South Africa recently crowned Miss South Africa and candidate for Miss Universe. Congratulations to Tamron Green. She is intelligent, a 23-year-old medical student from the Western Cape, and uh, she just happens to be gorgeous as well because, you know, why, why not? Why not? I know you're wondering, this is not political news, but um, her win has ignited debate about race and colorism in South Africa, about whether or not colored is considered black, and whether or not she is the correct representation of colored women, since she happens to be fair-skinned and has long straight hair. Yeah, I know you're watching this from another country and thinking, Wait, what? Colored and black are not the same thing? Yes, I think South Africa is one, probably the only country in the world that separates black people and colored people. But in South Africa, black and colored are not necessarily the same thing. Yeah, colored people uh, slightly look different. Well, they have curlier hair. Whether or not they look different is a matter of debate, I think. Because you think of a woman like Pearl Tusi, she's Zulu, but she's got curly hair. <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> right um they've got their own culture and they speak their own language which is afrikaans that emanates from dutch uh which is a language that is mostly spoken by some white south africans um but i that's not why i even want to address this because i believe that colored people should be able to choose which race they belong to no one should prescribe to them who and what they are However, my problem is how Miss South Africa itself, through all these years, has not been able to evolve. Now, black women were only able to participate in Miss South Africa from 1992. Mm. Before that, they only participated in Miss Africa South and Miss Black South Africa. Um, so for me, it seems that Miss South Africa is still stuck in the apartheid parochial-minded standard of beauty. All the women are skinny, tall, and they've got long hair. If you're black, then you have a weave. Now, they've managed throughout the years to throw education in there, you know, to make it seem as though they are evolving. And only this year did they say, well, you know what, actually, Afros are okay. Afros are allowed in this competition. But I remember the last time that I watched Miss South Africa, there was this black girl, she had an Afro, and the judges told her, girl, please go fix your hair. <laughs> go fix your hair and then she went and she did some weird hairstyle she tried to braid it and then she came back there was the like but we told you to go fix your hair you did not fix your hair so it's a case of black women struggling to be african in africa I mean, it's unheard of it's it, like it doesn't even make sense the reality of it is that South African women or at least a majority of them have kinky hair they are of average height and they are thick. So, Miss South Africa, when we are truly honest, is not a true representation of South African women. My question is, why do we continue to entertain this thing that's representing a toxic version of beauty? Because in all honesty, all it is, is a prevalent legacy of apartheid. Because I do not see myself in Miss South Africa, absolutely 100% not. <laughs> you might argue that, no, but these are international standards. Are they ready? I've seen Jamaican women rock their afros um, on the stage of Miss World and Miss Universe. And even if that's the case, aren't we supposed to change the rules? Because rules are made by human beings, so we have the power to change them. Imagine if the whole African continent would just send thick women with afros of average height send them and say go and compete isn't that a form of protest and i think that these beauty pageants would then not have a choice but to change their rules they very parochial minded myopic minded rules so for me until miss south africa gets its act together it is cancelled it's cancelled <laughs> All right, my name is Mopasaka Mura. Use your talents to serve humanity, and I will see you guys on a Wednesday.